Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Maven tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create our first Java project using Maven. So for example, I have created a directory in which I want to create my first Java project using Maven. So if you don't have this directory, you can create it and then just copy the path of this directory and then open your command prompt. If you don't know how to do this, you can right click on your Windows 8 uh, start menu button and then click command prompt and then just write CD which will change the directory for you and then paste the path you have copied and then press enter. Now to create a Maven project what you need to do is you can give this type of command which is MVN then just write archetype and then colon generate and what does this command do this maven archetype generate command is used to generate project from an existing template now normally what happens is if you are a developer and if you are not using the maven then you need to make the project structure by yourself and this in itself is very tedious task if you want to be a perfect, uh, you know, if you want to make a perfect directory structure for your project. And if you are a new Java developer, then you may do mistakes while creating this directory structures. And this command will help you to create a perfect directory structure for you. Now there are several archetypes defined by many developers and project groups on the Maven repository online. And when you give this command, what it's going to do. So let's press enter and let's see what happens. But before giving this command, make sure that you are connected to internet because it's going to download some uh, plugins from internet. So just press enter and once you press enter it's going to download those plugins so you can see it's scanning for projects and then it's started downloading some files from here now what it's downloading these downloads files are something which are called maven archetype plugin which are required whenever you are going to create your first maven project and whenever you give this maven archetype uh, generate command it's going to search for these plugins in your computer first at a specified location and if it's not found or, or if these plugins are not found then maven is going to download these plugins and then put it in that directory for you and this is going to be uh, done for the first time maybe from the next time if you already have this plugin maven will not uh, download these plugins for you now after downloading all the plugins maven will give you this these options and you can see these numbers here 15060 and when you scroll up you can see lots of numbers and some text is written in front of them. These are all the archetypes, right? So these are all the archetypes from which you can choose from. And by default, Maven will choose a Maven archetype quick start archetype, which is basically to create a Maven Hello World project with source and test classes. And you can see the number of this archetype. This number can be different in your case because uh, these archetype number changes, uh, you know, with time. So in your case, if you are using uh, this Maven archetype generate command, this default number can be different in your case. Okay. Now, if you want to create this sample project, you can uh, here press enter instead of writing any number and it's going to create a sample project for you. Otherwise, you can choose a number from this list of archetypes. This list of archetypes 
will uh, give you all kind of project templates here for example you want to choose uh, some kind of uh, restful spring uh, project then you can choose this number which is 1556 for example or you can uh, browse through this list and choose the project or kind of project you want to make so right now we want to make a default project so you can uh, just write which is this number i am typing here or otherwise you can uh, press enter directly without uh, writing any number here so let's uh, press enter to create a sample project and now it's going to give you these options now what are these options so since archetypes are the template and they intend to reflect the current best practice they can evolve in time thus they have their own versions maven will ask you which version of archetype you want to use so you can see different type of versions uh, listed here we are going to choose the last option which is the latest version but if you want to choose uh, the previous versions you can uh, you know freely do this so i'm going to just type 6 here which is uh, reflecting 1.1 version and i'm going to press enter now in the next step we will be asked to provide the group id now why uh, this group id is asked now every maven project have its group id artifact id and version and maven will ask you to provide these ids in three steps First, it will ask you to provide group ID, then it will ask you to provide artifact ID, and then it will ask you to provide the version. And this group ID is generally a unique amongst an organization or a project. Now, for example, uh, your organization is, uh, for example, CodeBind. You are working for an organization called CodeBind, and the website for this, uh, you know, organization is CodeBind.com. So the convention is to give the website of this organization in reverse order. For example, your organization website is CodeBind.com. So you can provide here com dot code bind okay and this can be your unique group id okay and now we are going to press enter and now we are asked with this artifact id now what is this artifact id the artifact id is generally the name that the project is known by so you can uh, give the name of your project for example my first maven project or my maven project now let's press enter and now it's asking us for the version and it has given us this small hint here which is 1.0 minus snapshot we are going to give the exact same uh, version name which uh, it has uh, given us so just write 1.0 minus or hyphen snap shot so why this uh, is called something like 1.0 hyphen snapshot so whenever you see a project with a version something like this which has this keyword called snapshot then it's in the development uh, you know version right so it's not a release version but it's a development version so this snapshot keyword indicate that it's a snapshot version now whenever you build your project uh, you can generate a jar file or a var file for your project and the jar or var file name will be this name which is artifact id dot your uh, version name so artifact id is my maven project dot 1.0 minus snapshot and then the extension for example dot job so press enter and now it's going to ask you for the package 
and it's uh, giving us this hint also so we uh, will follow the hint we will just give uh, com dot code bind but we are going to uh, generate our code inside this demo uh, folder right so whenever maven is going to create the sample project this will be created in this uh, you know folder structure com dot code bind dot demo and inside this uh, folder is going to create your class directory and your test uh, you know directory okay so just provide this and then press enter and once you press enter maven will ask you to confirm your choices for the group id artifact id version and package name and if you agree with uh, these uh, you know values you can just give uh, y and then press enter and then maven is going to create your folder structure for you and you can see build success it means your uh, you know folder is created or your maven project is created so you can browse to the directory in which you want to create your project and you can see your uh, project name my maven project which we have uh, given here you can see my maven project right and inside this my maven project you can find uh, this uh, source directory and this pom.xml this uh, introduction of pom.xml i have given you in the first video but we will see uh, this in detail in the next video and let's go inside our source folder and inside this source folder we have our main directory and inside the main directory we have this java directory and then com then code bind and then demo and then we have this sample java class for us right once again we will go to the source directory and this time we will go to the test directory it also has java com code bind demo and then your sample test class okay so this is how you can generate your first java project template using maven now in the next video we will see some more details of uh, this uh, project and what this pom.xml is and uh, we will uh, you know move forward with our tutorial so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now